Hey, good evening out there in Radio Land. You all know YouTube won't let me put no music in the background on my videos. So just go ahead and imagine. No, just go ahead and turn it on. I'm going to say about number six on the dial. Some Bonnie Raitt. So oh, listen up. Take notes. Hey, y'all, this is a good one. Take notes. And I got this cornmeal out here. That's that self-rising cornmeal. Oh, it feels so good. But let's let's not use that. Uh, we going, well, let's save this over for something else. What we going to use today, take notes now. What we're going to make today is potato chip cornbread, and I was blessed. I was blessed with these chips right here. Oh, I'm blessed to get them. So let's go ahead, and this this recipe is actually in the book. The but uh, you know I would suggest you not cooking by the book. You know you can't you cannot cook soul food. That's all we got. We, if we had some more, we would use them. But that's, uh, you know, that's two cups. That's all that is. Uh, we'll go put them in there. Potato chips. Uh, ground up as fine as you want to ground them. And them was kind of misshapen, different sizes. And I took an ordinary glass and crushed them up to a uniform size. And if we and then I do got two eggs laid out there, but we're not going to use them. We're not going to put no salt. Don't put no salt in this because it's the tater chips got enough salt in them. What we're going to put in there is this that baking powder, and we're going to put. Y'all see about how much that is, and I don't know what kind of spoon this is. Don't quote me on it, but you see about that was uh, actually that was a lot of baking powder. But let's put some more. You really want this. You, you, you really need to help this to rise all you can because potato chips is kind of, they kind of heavy. And this right here is some soda. You see about how much did I get out there? Okay, I'm going to get about twice that much. Put you some soda in there. And stir this up. Combine all the ingredients evenly. But you know, don't waste no time on this. If you know, just that's enough. Uh, some recipes will say uh, stir that up about 200 times. Well, you know, time you done that, you're not gonna be hungry no more. Uh, and these eggs right here, we're not gonna use them. We're gonna save them on the side for breakfast. And I will tell you something right now. If if your if your first two or three batches of potato chip cornbread don't turn out correctly, then just put it aside for breakfast. Put a little syrup on it and call it a potato chip pancake. Nobody'll never know that you failed on your cornbread the first time. In lieu of them their eggs, and y'all know I eat eggs pretty regular, but I don't like to cook with them. So what I'm going to use is the ever available grits them's uh instant grits and you see that was about two handfuls and that was uh that's not very much we may have to put some more in that and, and i tell you what this right here uh you know sometimes oh i'm going to quote you something in a minute it, it uh, when i read it it was uh oh it was pretty neat uh, you know what, what? I should quote you that right now.
Well, I couldn't find it. So I'll put it down there in the description. Read the description. Leave a comment. Well, uh, recap. What we got there is potato chips crushed. We got that there uh, instant uh, grits. And we got that bacon soda and bacon powder. That's all we got in there. No salt, no eggs. No, uh, let's get on with it. And I do have the oven heating at about 425 degrees. And we're going to bake this for about 30 minutes, actually. And to be realistic, it's going to take you that long. Just, just deal with it. It's about 30 minute baking time. We're going to use buttermilk in there not to stray from the recipe. And uh, you want to put enough buttermilk in here to where that you end up with a... a uh, uh, well, let's, I'm going to show you. This, this right here is... Well, it's better for me to show you this right here and then tell you how much to put in there. You just kind of observe me like an over-the-shoulder cook. It's going to take a little more. And be sure to shake your buttermilk. If you've got buttermilk in a jug that's been in there more than a day and you get it out there, you need to shake it because if you don't shake it, whatever that is on top right there ain't 100% buttermilk. You know what I mean? If you do, leave a comment. So that stuff that's on top of the regular true buttermilk, after two or three days in the refrigerator, man, that stuff is... Well, I'm not telling you nothing you probably know already. No, if you don't, I'll leave that with for your homework this week. And you see, I'm not fooling around with this with this dough here. I, I'm kind of lying on it because I don't want to mess it up. That's all the tater chips I had. If I get it too thin, I don't have any more tater chips to put in there. Because that's all that, well, that's, we've used them up. We had a whole bunch of them to start with, but, oh, that's not enough. See, I, but it's, uh, this is the correct way to do it. A little bit at a time, you know, you can always go a little bit more, but it's hard to go back. That's what the oven's for. It's preheating now, and I got two cast iron skillets in there, and that's still not enough. I'm going to have to get on with this. See, I should not did this right here. What, what you need to do is not be a beating this around too much, and I've done went too much. This this bread right here may fall flat. I, I just want you to know the possibility of this ain't the first time I've cooked this. Okay, that's all I'm going to put in there. You know, if it ain't enough, but I believe it's just right. Oh, yeah. Don't cut it. Well, no, that's not enough. If it's not enough, oh, you, you, you will thank me for that little. You know, it was a, a little side trip there to make an important remark. Okay, that's enough. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm having second thoughts, but that's enough. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do now. The, and it's what you will be doing too, and it will definitely be worth your time to get it done. I'm going to get one of them skillets out. Actually, i got two of them over there, and, and this is hot grease right here. Now, if you're going to have any problem with your hot grease, uh, get somebody else to assist you with it. The main thing is the, to cook in a cast iron skillet. And start out on the hot side. Oh, that's going to be good right there. Oh, yeah. You know, I have. I would think I'm going to have an extra pan. I'm just going to leave that like that right there. Oh, that's going to be good. And that turned out better. And, 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 I, and I tell you what, now, don't be setting this right here on your counter there and, and messing it up. It's hot. I mean, there's some oil in there, about an eighth of an inch. About an eighth of an inch uh, thick. That oven was about 425, so you can see why I cautioned you about that sizzle there. And I do have enough fur. I may, I may fry some whole cakes. That's what it looks like. I may fry some whole cakes out of this. I may add some corn to that. I think I'll do that. But we're going to get this bread, and we got them pinto beans. Don't forget them pinto beans that we're going to have with this. That's was the whole reason for this, is, uh, now we're going to let that bake. Hey. We're going to let that bake for about 20, 25 minutes, and then uh, 